I don't have any slides prepared. This is uh, more of an informal sort of uh, knowledge transfer, maybe. Um, I learned some stuff and I'll show you some stuff and then go from there. I'll just share the screen. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go with this one. Is that visible? We have a Chrome. Yes. Um, cool. All right. So layout paragraphs, what is it? Um, why do I need it? If you're using, um, what's the built-in one? There's like a built-in sort of layouts thing. It uses blocks. It uses that side panel. It's ugly. It's terrible to use. It's, it's hard to configure. Not a great editing experience. It's kind of where layout paragraphs comes in. Um, so I might just quickly whip around it. I've got some paragraph type set up. Um, and I've installed layout paragraphs and I've got a content type and on the content type is page manage fields. I have a field content, which is just a empty reference for paragraphs field. Um, so if I go to manage form display underneath content, I've just selected layout paragraphs and I've got some pretty basic settings here. Uh, I just want to show it as default and I want to require that things are put inside a layout. Uh, and then on display, I'm going to show content as layout paragraphs builder with the same settings. So it's default and require paragraphs to be displayed. Uh, so what does this look like? That, it's not very interesting. Um, doesn't do anything yet. Add section, can't add anything. So I'm going to go to structure paragraph types and I've got this little section paragraph type to set up. You can just create whatever you want. Like a paragraph type could, could be called, you know, content A. Um, it doesn't have to have anything in it. So there's no fields in here. It doesn't need any fields. Just under edit, we're going to enable layout paragraphs and we're going to choose one column and two column. You know, if you, you define layouts the same way you would draw out Drupal. Um, I think you can do it inside your theme and your theme can add extra layouts. But that's that. So content, edit, add section. Now all of a sudden I have stuff to do. So I want a two column layout. And I'm presented with a slightly broken layout, but we'll ignore that for now. Add some content and here's the rest of my paragraph types that sort of start to show up. And of course, it's a live demo, so nothing worked. So what I'll do is now we've got to that point, I'll go to a working version. I'm just going to share a different thing. Hooray. Um, so this is the exact same thing. That's where we left off. I have a layout paragraph inside of this layout paragraph. I have some content types. And you can kind of see it starts to really open up how this editing experience works. So I can drag and drop between different sections. Uh, put that up there. Uh, if I edit the media, it opens up in a little light box if it wasn't broken. There it goes. And that's kind of it. So that's layout paragraphs. It enables you to put paragraphs in layouts um, and you get a nice little editing experience. Um, I mean, I don't want to drone on too much. That's that's kind of the, the knowledge transfer. Um, it's worth having a go with. Um, what else can I say? Like uh, you show this to clients and they're kind of like, wow, that's exactly what I want. There's a no code, low code sort of thing. You can drag and drop, you can get your interfaces done and they don't have to know how Drupal works and they don't need to understand the terminology of what a block is and they can just kind of see it on their screen. So when they go to add some content, um, that's all they see. It's a correct page. That's all they want to see. Keep it simple. All right, we're going to add one thing inside that one thing I want text. I wonder if the computer's just being slow. Um, and maybe we'll add another section underneath that. And then away you go. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Any questions? I don't want to get, I don't, I don't want to go into hyper detail about it. You know, it's just sort of like, that's a cool thing. Install it, configure like two things and you can drag and drop your paragraphs around. 
So it will uh, like as a custom module or uh, have you contributed it? This no, this, 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 this has been around for I don't know, years almost, just no one really uses it. Um, it's just a slight alternative to the layer builder. So instead of having to put blocks everywhere and define everything in blocks, and then you have to install third party modules to lock down that sidebar, then another third party module to lock down the configuration of it, and another third party module to open up which blocks are allowed to which people and which groups. And the whole thing just becomes this giant mess. This is just paragraphs in a page um, and the configuration that goes with paragraphs. So you select the thing um, and you give it a layout and you decide what things can go in that thing. And that's it. Um, it kind of like what it does is it adds well, what I what I kind of like about it is a section is just a, a paragraph as well. Right? So a section is just inside your list of paragraphs inside that field. A section is a paragraph. It has a, an ID, and the thing below it gets a behavioral setting um, that says the parent ID is this and the region is this, and that's all it is. And so when it displays on screen, it's just rejigging the layout of it and going, all right, well, here's the layout sections and then find me the things that go in the regions. And then that's it. So when you're, when you're working with something like GraphQL or JSON API, um, it's actually quite a flat structure and it's really easy to sort of understand and rebuild again in a, in a, in a headless state. Um, I recommend you have a look at it. Thanks for showing us this. I actually didn't know about this. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I was I was wondering. I'm, I'm assuming it, it would work with like nested paragraphs. Like you had a paragraph. And then yeah. Like so paragraphs, um, like in, that. in that, I've got an accordion example, um, and I'll just share it. Share screen that one. This one. Sure. Let's see if it actually wants to play ball. But um, we go add accordion. So inside that, I can add text, and then maybe I'll have inside that uh, media, add media. Save. Oh. Uh, that's an accordion. So that's pretty much your paragraph with paragraphs inside a paragraph. Um, I think it starts oh, yeah. to get weird when you when you use layout paragraph inside layout paragraph i don't think it's designed to do that because then a layout isn't a layout but okay. yeah. it might get pretty messy at that point it, it, it could yeah but then when you start getting like interdimensional paragraphs things get weird anyway so you, you're kind of just going to have to play it safe usually or just make sure your theming engine can or your templates can uh do the right thing Okay. How does it work with uh, revisions? Any idea? Um, so it is just paragraphs under the hood. Um, so paragraphs is empty reference revisions. Um, so yeah, it, it would work fine. Revisions. The entire it might get layout. I mean, I mean the entire layout. If we have, if we change, and uh, if we save, are we able to revert it to the previous one? If you change your layout in any system and it was mapped to regions, I think you're going to have a bad time. So I don't know what it would do there. I, I would assume if you were going to change the, the regions and like what was in those layouts, you would just create a new layer and you would have to make some sort of migration across. But you would have to do that with anything that used layouts. Um, yeah. I've, I've, you can... You can if you're talking about just like the dragging and dropping of things, so like from one revision to another, this is here and that's there and that's all around, then that information is just parent ID. And that's coming from the behavioral settings, which is almost like a third party settings on the entity. So um should be there. Should be revision should be revisionable. Now paragraphs go get it. Go get it. Um, yeah. My question might show my, I'm sure it shows my naivety in Drupal, and it might be similar to what you just asked there, AMA, AMA about revisions. But if, if I had like a 100-page site, right, and it was constructed however it was constructed, and then then I started using this layout paragraph, you know, for my 
you know, hundred and first page and hundred and second page. Do do those two new pages, you know, use this new editing experience and 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 a legacy hundred pages? Would they use Layout Builder or whatever the old method was, or is is or is it possible to sort of retrofit this experience into a site? I guess is what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, so if you used um, paragraphs for the original site build, so it was just standard paragraphs, and you had the you know uh, you had all your components, you had text, image, text, image, text, image, whatever, and it was building site paragraphs, then you, there's no reason you couldn't just turn on layer layer paragraphs and not select the checkbox that I did, which is forcing things to be inside a layer, uh, and then you could progressively, I guess, enhance it that way. But if you're talking about like uh vanilla fields that need to be converted into paragraphs then no that wouldn't you would just have a new field that was for paragraphs layouts that you could continue to build underneath it um and that's maybe where it, lift, it differs to the core layout builder where you can turn that on per entity and then you can just start to mix and match where your fields are and mess around with it so it's it's probably a design decision you'd want to make early on um mm -hmm. If you were going to use paragraphs to build content or fields to use con to build content, um, but I mean, you, there's no reason. Like, I, I worked on sites in the past where it's like, "Ask oh, girl, let's just add a paragraph field underneath everything. You start building components. It's just easier." So, yeah, yeah I mean, you can just do that. It's PHP, you know, the world's end. You can do whatever you want. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. All righty. Any more questions for us? Thanks a lot. I have a question for you. Who's going to do a five minute presentation on cool stuff next week or next month? <laughs> I was just actually chatting with Govin. Govin is also on the call. He joined up at late. And what I was probably telling him to do is that we should probably do something about single directory components. There's a new up and shining thing. Yeah. Uh, it has got a lot of traction specifically in Drupalcon Pittsburgh. Wait, before I do that, let's stop the recording.